Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look on Android Q Developer Preview 3, which is based on Oxygen OS, and that's for OnePlus 6, 60, 7, and 7 Pro. Yesterday we had rollout of Android Q based on Hydrogen OS, and now it's available based on Oxygen OS. So it was rolled out yesterday in the evening. I've been testing it since yesterday itself, so that I can give you a better idea of bugs, or it can be used as daily driver or not. So guys. This is my OnePlus 7 Pro, this is my OnePlus 60. First of all, let me show you the software information on both the devices. Under About section here you can see Android version is 10. Security patch is 5th July 2019 and the build date is 12th July on OnePlus 60. On OnePlus 7 Pro, Android version 10, security patch 5th July 2019. So if you guys are getting installation failed message while doing a local upgrade, that's because of the build number is higher than the Android Q Developer Preview 3 build number. So in that case what you can do is you need to first downgrade your device to any older build number and after that you can do a local upgrade. Same thing happened with me. So I had to downgrade my device to Oxygen OS 9.5.8 instead of Oxygen OS 9.5.10 which was currently running on my OnePlus 7 Pro. So it's very simple guys downgrade your device to an older build number and then you can do a local upgrade. So as we have already installed it on both my devices, this will be your first look. Here under quick settings, you have all the other features like screen recorder, Zen mode, hotspot, reading mode. If we swipe towards the right hand side, we have shelf available. There are no changes done over here. Almost all the basic stuff are working like calling, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, portable hotspot, camera. Once you update to Android Q, launcher version will be version 4.0 on both the devices. And the camera version will be 3.3.19 on OnePlus 60 and 3.8.1 on OnePlus 7 Pro. Picture quality is not that great and front portrait is not working as of now on both the devices. And if you take a look at the notification panel, now we have two columns over here. So one will be for silent notification which are related to system. So here you can see we have silent notification under which we have all the notifications which are system based and if you want to change the settings you can directly go to the manage option which is available at the bottom of the notification panel or else you can long press on the notification where you'll get two options one is alerting and one is silent so you can choose as per your requirements dark theme is also been added on this latest build which was not available on the previous builds to enable dark theme in system apps then go to settings Tap build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. After that, go to system, advance, developer options and here search dark. After that you will get this option which is override force dark. Go to this and enable it. Once you have enabled it, now almost all the system apps will adapt to dark theme. So this is the messaging app and messaging app was not working on hydrogen OS but it seems to be working on oxygen OS based on Android Q. Then we have gallery as you can see that also adapts dark theme. Facebook also adapts to dark theme. Later if you take a look at Instagram and Instagram also adapts to dark theme. Same goes for the play store also. So this way you can get complete dark theme on your device where you'll have all the notifications also in dark color. We have alert slider which is working fine. So on both the devices dash charging and warp charging working fine no issues at all with the charging part. So now let's go inside the settings and take a look here. So here on both the devices Wi-Fi and internet everything is working fine including Bluetooth. Let's go under display. So here we have adaptive brightness which works fine. Night mode also works on both the devices. After that we have screen calibration which includes vivid, natural and advanced. Video enhancer mode on OnePlus 60 is now available. Few features which are exclusive for OnePlus 7 are working fine like screen refresh rate, resolution we have Quad HD, Full HD, video enhancer is also available on OnePlus 7 Pro. Then we have ambient display on both the devices which is working fine. After that we have few more options like font size, display size, status bar, auto rotation, screen saver. And now we have one more option in the settings panel which is called as customization. So here we have lots of customizations you can completely change the look of your device. So under themes as I have already showed you three themes are already available. 
if you want to change the essence color from here you can change it directly you can also customize the essence color once you select the color just save and here you go after that you also have option to change the shape of quick setting tiles so let's change it to tear down save it and here you can see now icon packs can be changed from here then moving on to the next part which is related to clock we have three clock styles available on both the devices then we have options to change the fingerprint animation where we have options like cosmo wave ripple and all these animations are working fine so now talking about the horizon light so horizon light is not working on oneplus 60 so i've personally tested but it works on oneplus 7 pro let's see if it gets fixed in the upcoming builds so as of now this is not working on oneplus 60. after that we have sounds and vibration under which we have basic settings additional things like dolby atmos is exclusive for oneplus 7 pro earphone mode is available for both the devices then we have buttons and gestures under buttons and gesture now we have option to customize the alert slider then we also have the new navigation gesture which is available on pixel devices so here we have we have three options one is back home and recents which will give you three buttons at the bottom then we have back and home and later we have the new gestures which are available on pixel devices and these gestures are working fine but on oneplus 7 pro it feels more like mi ui gestures but that's not the case on oneplus 60. If you have enabled these navigation gestures, you can trigger Google Assistant just by swiping from any of the edges. Then under security and lock screen, fingerprint scanner is working pretty good on OnePlus 7 and OnePlus 6, no issues at all. But the only weird thing over here is that if your device screen is off and you double tap on OnePlus 60, you won't see the fingerprint icon here so you just have to assume and try to unlock your device so this is a bug only on oneplus 60 but works fine on oneplus 7 pro face unlock works fine on both the devices later we have few settings for the privacy location accounts and now you'll see that battery section has been shifted down in the settings panel so battery backup is pretty good as of now i have not faced much of battery drain issue but the only issue over here is device gets little bit more heated up when you play heavy games. Then we have a new feature on OnePlus 60 which is parental control where you can monitor your family members or kids device remotely. After that under utilities we have same other stuff like quick launch, parallel app, app locker, schedule power off on but pocket mode is missing on OnePlus 7 Pro which is not available here but that's available on OnePlus 60. Under OnePlus lab we have dc dimming feature and one more thing you'll notice is gaming mode is not available inside utilities section but for that oneplus have made a dedicated gaming app which is called as game space so this is the app where you can add your game and you have all other stuffs which were available like fanatic mode graphic optimizations and the way to show notifications when gaming mode is on so under system we have ram boost option on both the devices it is available so guys this was a complete look on oxygen os based on android q developer preview 3 and one more issue what i have faced is when you play games or when your device is in landscape mode there is slight issue with the recent panel overall a great job done by oneplus by providing android q developer preview 3 so i'll be using it as my daily driver because i have not faced any kind of major issues for me almost everything is working slight issues here and there which can be managed so now let's take a look at the benchmark results also so these are the benchmark results on oneplus 60 single core has scored 2403 multi core has scored 9015 on oneplus 7 pro single core has scored 3590 where multi core has scored 10791 with Antutu benchmark application, 60 scores 2,88,519 wherein OnePlus 7 Pro scores 3,70,401. So guys, this was all about Android Q Developer Preview 3 for OnePlus 6, 60, 7, 7 Pro. If you have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.